There is still snow on the ground. It is April, and Andrew is in shorts. Did you show my crotch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, se it's 17 degrees outside. Yeah, which I didn't really realize when I put my sweater on and stuff. I have been out of the house today and it felt really nice, but like, I don't know, I like my sweater. Maybe I'll take my sweater off before we get out. Anyways, we are headed to the running route because Andrew needs to pick up some running shoes. He is running the 5K here in Fredericton in... Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. And his current shoes are kind of eating up his ankles and Well, I, to be fair, I think my ankles are eating up the shoes and vice versa. It's mutual destruction at this point. I've had these running shoes for a, a year because I bought them just before my 5K last year, which was at the same time. I'm usually so good with shoes in terms of like not forcing my foot into them and all that jazz, but it's like running 5K in them probably like at least four times a week and, and on a treadmill. They do not last long. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, so let's go shoe shopping. sweater off. Andrew got shoes. Yep. And now we are gonna meet up with Kaylee who has asked us to go for a patio drink. We're going over to the Cap which is one of the best music venues here in the city. It also has several bar spaces and a record store and they have their own beer as mm. well as cocktails and regular stuff that's on tap. So yeah. Excited. The new shoes. Yeah, I'm running like super fast right now. What came in the mail today? Uh, we got Travelista. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, and we got a knock at the door. And yeah, it, fortunately for us, usually it comes in a box, doesn't it? Like, mm -hmm. I, obviously, but I mean, like, doesn't it come in the Travelista box? Yeah, usually they're like blue. I didn't get any sort of shipping notification. So this was a complete surprise. And I kept seeing everyone else get their boxes, and I was a little jealous. So it's finally here, so let's open it. So part of the reason why I'm thinking Kayla didn't get it in just the normal Travelista box is because she got an add-on for a souvenir subscription. Do you know how, what is the souvenir no. subscription? So wait, you just subscribed to something you didn't know what it yeah, is? Yeah, accidentally. Okay. So in previous boxes, we don't typically get like souvenirs. You get like things that are from there that are like helpful, like a blanket or food or snacks or like, Things you actually can use on a daily basis. You don't get like souvenirs, but I guess Kayla, as she puts it, accidentally uh, did it. Do you know what the souvenir is? Do you want to guess the country? I don't think it's a country. Is it a country? It's a city specifically, but it's like yeah. a country. I think it's New York. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you definitely know what it is. Have we been to New York together? No, oh I have never been to New York Okay, in my so life. then this is, a weird, <laughs> this is a weird thing to have then in our house because you've never been. It's a mini Statue of Liberty. Oh, cute. So it says, have a piece of New York history right at home with you. A very popular souvenir from the city coming in many sizes and designs, symbolizing freedom. Be sure to place a statue somewhere you might want to have a little inspiration for the day. Mm. And then there's a whole like history to it. So now we have a mini Statue of Liberty to put somewhere. It doesn't match any of our color schemes. But oh no. Yeah, how will we ever get by? All right, mm -hmm. am I doing the box for you? Do you know the country? I think it's New York. You think it's, oh. I think the whole box is New York. Okay. I'm gonna guess Japan, because that's what I always guess. So I'm just gonna <laughs> assume that it's a Japan box. Oh, they taped the shit out of this one second. 
All right, Kayla, so you think it's New York. I always think it's Japan. Let's see. Yeah. Ah, it's New York. Damn it. Okay. I told you. Don't look at, don't, oh, don't look at the back. Close. New York. Hit hey. Oh, don't look. Because it shows you the items. Okay. okay. So the first little thing is kind of cute. It's a little New York notebook. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, so it's like a travel notebook. It doesn't have a lot it's of got pages. A little, like Statue of Liberty. Yeah. So or an That's ideas cute. notebook. Like it could be yeah. anything. But it's nice and small. It would fit in my bags. Now, Kayla, when we travel, you're always like, "Man, I need to do my makeup, but I also need to comb my hair. But I don't want to carry all these things." Well, now you don't have to. It's a compact mirror and brush. What? Set. Oh, I used to have one of these as a kid. I do but, like it because I like to bring a brush, or yeah. sorry, I like to bring a comb, but I also like to bring a brush and our brushes are usually a decent size. I may so actually that... just end up putting this in my crossbody bag and just keeping it with me all the time. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Then all it's right. automatically packed. That's now, cute. I have to ask Kayla before we continue on, mm -hmm. did you purchase anything extra in this bag? I don't think so. Like an add-on. Uh, just the statue Just of the Liberty. statue? Okay. okay. The first one is a scented body splash. That is a New York City scent, bergamot and sandalwood, which I think oh, we actually get in a lot of our really home good. senses. What is a body splash? I assume it's like a it's like, like a, a perfume? perfume or a scent. It, they're just trying Paraben to make it free, cruelty free, non GMO, and vegan. Vegan. Oh. Oh, it is more of a splash. <laughs> Thus the name. It's not. Yeah, I'm getting. Definitely I'm getting doesn't the smell. Bergamot. It definitely doesn't orangey. smell like the New York I know. Moving on, something a little bit probably more for you. Mm -hmm. It's a ball of foot cushion that makes it so that your foot doesn't slide forward in shoes. Nice. Helpful for walking, which apparently you do a lot of in New York. Uh, the next thing is a, it's a little wrapped up here, so I'll probably need you to unwrap it, but it's a travel makeup brush uh, set. Five essential brushes with sleek tube to create the perfect eye look. All right. So that may end up being something that I take with us when we travel. So the next item is a book. <gasps> a book? Yeah. I always love the book. Uh, it's a book called The Mad Girls of New York by Maya Rodal. Okay. Pretty book. Yeah, it is a very pretty book. Yeah. So a little bit of a nice. trip read. The next one is the last item, and I find it a little funny, but okay. also a little cool. It's a cover for your suitcase. Oh, okay. um, I don't know if it's like for protection purposes or just to like, you know how sometimes people are like, oh, make sure you don't get the wrong suitcase. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is New York like Art Deco Pop. So. Oh my God. It is, what do they call it? Liberty Pop Art Luggage Cover. Covering your nice luggage is a great way to keep it clean for a long time. This large checked bag luggage cover obviously features New York, but at the same time will prevent your luggage from getting scratched no, or marked. It is, uh, it's thick. Like, it's not it a... It is very thick. It's like neoprene. Uh, it has a zipper. Why does it look like a really weird bathing suit? <laughs> oh, I was going to put it the other way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that is it. So you got a couple of uh, fashion stuff, like the hairbrush, mm -hmm. the travel body spray, and the makeup brushes. Mm -hmm. You got the notebook, the book, the mm -hmm. cushion insoles, and then, of course, the luggage cover. A couple of things that are... Good for practical things. Yeah, practicality. Practicality. Some of them are cute. Some of them are just cool to have. Overall, pretty good. So uh, they do provide a little bit of a guide to New York. Uh, they talk about a little bit of a history, but they also say the best sites in New York to see the cherry blossom trees. Um, some of the New York City sips, so drinks you need to try while you're there. This penicillin drink looks amazing whiskey scotch lemon honey ginger mm. uh, and then also a three-day trip to new york itinerary maybe we should use that so, sometime uh it also has 10 film locations in new york city cool. from breakfast at tiffany's to uh miracle on 34th street how to lose a guy in 10 days the Devil Wears Prada, and also how to make a New York style cheesecake. Ooh. So a uh, handy little guide of different things. That's Sweet. awesome. And that's the Travelista box for this quarter. I guess we should get back to work. Um, I don't know if you can see behind, Andrew was actually set up at the table. He brought his, his monitor down. Oh, for work? And uh, he's working with me, kind of body doubling. I had a bunch of stuff to do this morning. We got up nice and early. I've had 
one meeting. We have a two new clients. massage. <laughs> oh, I thought you were oh I, yeah, we do have two new clients. Yeah. So I've been working on some stuff from, for them, uh, trying to get into a routine and a rhythm. And then um, hopefully every other time it goes really, really fast. Uh, we have a massage today. Tomorrow I start filming for Brit's film. It's been a wild week, very busy, kind of overwhelming. Um, so I've had a couple shutdown days. So today we're just kind of trying to catch up on everything that hasn't been done. So we'll uh, catch away. So I am currently grocery shopping. Uh, Kayla's filming this coming weekend and I'm in charge of food. I am craft services, less craft, more food. Uh, yeah, so just doing a little bit of grocery shopping. It's weird shopping for like 15 people. Uh, so just trying to figure out what to get and what not to get and save money and all that fun stuff. So it is Friday. It is our first film weekend. Kayla's gone to um, go and get all the gear and get that brought to the location. I've started to compile all of the food and stuff we need. And so the house is a, oh Christ, a little bit in disarray. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because last Christmas I had uh, received a bicycle because uh, I'm a grown man um, but primarily it's because I haven't had a bike first off I haven't had a bike I think I mentioned this in one of our first vlogs I haven't had my own in like a while because we lived in Toronto didn't have one I use the, the rental bikes or the kind of quick use bikes that they have there so I got one and then of course getting a bike in December is not very fantastic on the East Coast in terms of being able to ride it so I've had to wait and wait and then we decided uh, to travel and and whatnot. So anyway, uh, finally got enough nice weather, enough free time, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna head out on a bike ride for a little bit. I don't have a lot of time, I have meetings, and we have filming tonight, but I really wanted to do it, so here she is. So our garage is empty right now. Uh, Kale's gone, uh, and this place is somewhere else, but uh, yeah, got the bike, uh, wheels are all popping. No, hopefully not actually. Knock on wood. Uh, helmets good to go. Protection first. And then we got bike lock in case I decide to stop at a cafe and have a coffee. Um, yeah, so pretty jazz. So off I go with the old new bike. I got up and actually like washed my face and stuff. I'm so really excited and nervous because today is the first day of filming for Still Your Song, which is the feature film that I am producing with my friend Brittany Sparrow, who wrote and directed, or will be directing, I guess, starting today. We have a really short filming day today. We don't start until 7 p.m. Um, and then even then it's only like one scene, trying to get the team together and gelling and mixing and whatnot. And then tomorrow we start, we hit the ground running with like a 10 hour day starting at 9 a.m. I'm just really excited. We've been working on this for like two years at this point. Um, and Brittany even longer than that because obviously she wrote it, but we have a great cast and we have a really good crew. I'm really excited to just be on set again with everyone. A volunteer shoot is always a little different than a professional shoot and half of that is because you know that the people who are on a volunteer shoot really want to be there because they aren't being paid and it is long hours and uh, the reason why they do it is because they love it. I think from now until September we're doing almost two weekends a month so I'm sure you'll see lots and lots of that. Um, I'm trying not to show too much behind the scenes footage but um, Maybe I'll show you what I look like on set. Our crowdfunding for that has ended, but if you do want to make any sort of contribution to it, if you live in the Fredericton area and you want to help with food and whatnot for the weekends, please send me a message. If you want to donate financially, send me a message. Anything counts. Like I said, this is a volunteer shoot. 
we have a budget right now of about ten thousand dollars which is nothing when you look at how much it costs to make a movie and thanks for everyone who has donated and donated to that uh, i can't wait for you guys all to see it someday okay. all right you ready? I think ready let's get quiet on set can i get sound Speeding. camera action It's Sunday, it's the last day of filming this weekend, and we have a 9 a.m. call time, which is really nice. It's about 8.40 right now, so I am going to put on some clothes, and we're gonna head to set. And hopefully it's a shorter day. I managed to keep us on schedule yesterday, which meant we swapped one of the big scenes over to today, but we ended up pulling three scenes from today to yesterday. So, I'm hoping that we will be done by supper time. We have to return the gear to the film co-op, but otherwise I think it's gonna be a pretty good day. We're late, but we live really close to where we're filming today, so that's good. Uh, and I think everyone's gonna be rolling in a little late. I had ADHD mine this morning and literally printed off the call sheet to have a printed copy. I have it on my phone and whatnot, but have a printed copy on set uh, because that will keep me on schedule. But yeah, I literally printed that at like 8.57. So at that point, I knew we were gonna be late. It's Monday. We had a awesome time filming this weekend. And this week is going to be a week filled with stuff going on yeah. before we head out to St. John, so yep. you'll see that in the next vlog. Uh, but right now we're just kind of recovering. Uh, like I said, we have to work. It is Monday. So we'll do that. And then uh, after St. John, we have a week at home and we go back to camera again. So I'm sure you'll see more of us running around prepping That'll stuff. That'll be the whole summer. Basically, wow. one week off, one week on, one week off, one and week then on. In that, we have like show week and camping. Tra I was gonna say a little bit of local travel mm -hmm. and a 5K. So there's a lot going on this summer. Yeah. So stay tuned. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and click like. And we will see you next week. Bye.